Hey, what's going on YouTube? How are you? It is cold here. Thank you for coming by. I do appreciate it. Hike Dave here. It's like Siberia here. It is so cold. It's kind of bone chilling. But I'm here in a uh, national forest that, uh, national park that I have, I haven't been here in, in a while. And I want to check out a couple of structures that there's three large structures in this forest that I have found, and one of them has been completely destroyed, thrown, strewn, if you will, all over the forest floor, completely torn apart, and also there was a large quartz boulder that was there for a year, longer, since I had found it. It's been there for a long time. That is gone. So along with the structure being torn apart, that boulder was gone, which is, I mentioned before, I could lift it, but I probably could only walk with it for, you know, 50 feet. It's that, I could deadlift it, but it's, I couldn't pick it up and throw it over my shoulder. Someone could have taken it away. Of course, someone in a four-wheeler or whatever. But anyways, so let's go for a hike. I want to take you guys to two structures that I haven't visited in quite a while, and I'm really curious to see the condition of them, to see what's going on, since that other structure I have found has since been torn down. And I'm just curious, and I want to I want to look around for some new sign here, and possibly see if there's some new uh, some new sapling breaks, or or if it's just all the same stuff that I usually will see here. Just curious. So, oh, another thing. If I don't know if you guys have kids, I have two children. Um, I had three children. I want to mention that I don't like to leave my son. My, my firstborn passed away in a tragic accident when he was 12 years old. And so, but I have two other children that I think they're in cahoots with the electric company. I think maybe the electric company approached them in school and gave them candy bars and said, keep turning the lights on in your home and don't worry about it. We'll deal with your parents because every room they go in, they turn the lights on. Even if it's in the daytime, they're driving me bananas. I have to follow them around, shutting lights off all day. I think they're in cahoots with the electric company. They're being paid off with chocolate or something. But anyways, if you don't have children, you maybe you don't understand, but it's driving me out of my mind. All right, I got that off my chest. So let's go for a hike and let's see what we see. So the trails here are treacherous, all ice. It's like walking on a million golf balls. It is just frozen solid. And I am getting some incredible sounds from the water, uh, from the ice out there off of uh, the lake. Some really awesome, deep, uh, booming cracks, really cool. These trails, um, I would say ordinarily this area on a scale of one to 10, one being very easy. These trails are normally like a two. Nice, easy, comfortable hiking. And right now I give these, I give these trails, as far as the, the uh, difficulty in walking, I give it a six. I mean, it is really tough going walking on this uh, frozen, uh, these, these frozen trails. Fortunately, uh, when it was still slush, nobody hiked around here. So I'm not, I don't have to walk on other people's footsteps that have now become frozen. But man, is it tough hiking. This is an area where I found uh, a large structure down down this gully, um, and there's like a little little valley down in here, right next to the lake, and I found a big structure in there. So I'm gonna go and head towards that. But before that, before that, there's another structure down here on the right that I want to check and see and and take a look at. Also, down here I found quite a while ago. I can still see it, what looks like a blind. That's something, somebody built a blind and uh, 
definitely not natural. It actually looks different from the last time I was here, now that I'm seeing it. I don't think you could see it very well. Let me get a better angle at that. Yeah, you could kind of see it right there. But it's a perfect spot for a blind. There's like a deer run that goes right down this. I'm, I'm up on, on kind of like a ledge. And that looks different from the last time I saw it. I have to admit, it's different. It looks added on to. Okay. It's going to be a little hairy going down this uh, this hill here. So I just got to take my time, go nice and slow. And the, the teepee type big structure is down the bottom of that hill and off to the right. Wow, I really love hearing the sound of that lake freezing over and it sounds really awesome. Yeah, this is ridiculously icy here. I mean, it's completely, I mean, it's, it, it is so cold. It's like the Russian front over here. And I'm assuming it would be cold. It's like just Antarctica. Keep hearing some crazy, like, when the trees move a little bit, that creaking. I haven't been here in, in quite a while. And I'm on, I want to say maybe even close to two months. Yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna be quite a trip, yeah. I'm intended. All right, I'm gonna need both hands. Hold on a second. I found this structure a couple of years ago and um, I was walking by it all the time when I would hike through here and I never even saw it. One day I stopped at the bottom of this hill and I just happened to see it. Ooh. Yeah, coming up here is gonna be real fun trying to get back up this hill, but whatever. Huh. Oh, it too has been destroyed. It's been completely dismantled. All right, this is kind of interesting here because now I'm starting to, now I'm starting to suspect the park rangers. This whole thing was is now destroyed and it was been up here for years. Well, that's really interesting to see that that's now destroyed. Hmm. All right. Let's head uh let's head to the other structure. I'm curious if that other structure is also destroyed. I I'm definitely going to chalk it up to the park. Uh, to the park rangers maybe uh, getting rid of them but i don't know what changed but this is completely destroyed hmm i'm really starting to lean towards uh park management Maybe, maybe knocking these things down for safety purposes. So we'll see. I'm going to move on. Let's check. I'm going to check the next one.
Okay, so I'm getting close to the area now. This was a fairly recent find for me. I found it over the summer, or, or, or maybe a year ago. I'm not positive, but. Oh, this will be interesting. A nice little, little stream, a little river crossing here on the ice. Oh, it too has been destroyed. Okay, so that's telling me something. It has been destroyed as well. Okay. I'm going to cross this little thing here and let's see what we see. I wonder if I wonder if I could just cross by walking on the ice. It would be a lot a lot easier. I trust that. I think maybe I'll just take my chances on these. Oh, it's been completely... It's been destroyed. So, that is telling me that's giving me some answers here on what happened to the other structure. The first one that I had found that had been destroyed. This one also has been destroyed. Huh. Wow, it almost looks like somebody's put some of them back up again. been all piled up which is completely different than the other ones these ones were this one was neatly dismantled where the other two were thrown all over the place huh that's interesting that if the park service destroyed this why leave these up that's, I'm curious now about that. Um, interesting, huh? So, this one was destroyed in a totally different manner. Neatly piled. The park service is not going to disassemble it and then neatly pile these. So, I'm not sure, Willie, really what to think about this area here. I'm a little bummed out that these have been taken down, but why are these stacked? Why are these stacked like this? This was a, a very large structure, and I always had the sneaking suspicion that it was made man-made by youths or whatevers. Um, all of them could be man-made, of course, but... There was one in particular, like the first one that I found destroyed, that really piqued my interest on what could have done, built it. And this is odd right here. This is... I don't know why these would still be here if the park service came here and destroyed it. Anyways, I, I have, don't have the answers for that, but let's go check out that blind, what I believe to be a blind. And... I'm, I'm really curious to get a look at how that's changed a little bit. Uh, I, when I very first found this, this structure here, um, I had heard movement that day. I was here taking a video, and I actually stopped to pee. <laughs> um, sorry for my description but uh, I was in mid relief and I had heard something up here crash crash and then it stopped so I immediately went up there 
and uh, I, I didn't find much. And of course, my camera died uh, shortly thereafter, which seems to happen to me a lot. But let's go check out um, what I believe to be a blind over here. So I'm just going to pause this, uh, save some battery. It's so cold out that my phone it, it seems to be dying pretty quickly. So I'm just going to pause this. So just hold on. Now, this whole area seems to be different, completely changed. I'll have to go back and look at a video the last time I was here. It looks really cleared out. Um, you've got the patented... Uh, Little little sticks all in between the crook of the trees there. I see that a lot right in this area. I don't see it often in nature, so it's just that's the only reason why I pointed it out. And we've got some kind of woodland creature that came through here. Uh, dog, coyote, something. This is interesting. Well, pile of sticks, right? Wonder who would, why? Or who would line all these up like this? There's no trail out here, by the way. I want to let you know this is off trail. So this is not an area. I think, we're, you know, people don't come down here unless uh, unless you're doing what I'm doing. That's quite a bend. Look at a bend on that thing. I hear four wheelers flying around in the snow up in the distance. I think that blind that I'm looking for is up here, but there's a lot of debris, so I'm going to try to make my way around. Now we got a, couple, a bunch of fallen trees here that's making my, my travel a little bit harder than it should be. See now this during the summer is like a deer run here. This is not a foot trail. Alright, I think I'm getting close. I can't tell, it's hard to I don't know how to tell if I'm near it or not because all those down trees have kind of changed the landscape here. Okay, I see it, I see it. Yeah, this looks a little different than the last time I saw it. And I was up there on that ridge line there. Uh, when I pointed this out from up there, I could have easily just come down here, but I wanted to check out the other structure. But this really has the appearance of a blind here. Uh, during the summer, you can obviously see a deer run or, or an animal run that goes right here and across. 
And I always had that thought that this here in the summer would be a great place for an ambush spot. My opinion, guys, you know, I'm, I'm not a hunter, but I can understand the element of surprise and, and staying unseen. And uh, these, these didn't just fall here, they were put here intentionally because it has changed. This is like the third time I've seen this different. And uh, I found this interesting as well, that all of these little twigs have been piled up here. I don't know the, the reason for that or the meaning of it, but interesting nonetheless. I'll probably head right back up there instead of going back and crossing. I, it looks like I could navigate that fairly easy, so... I'm going to check out a couple things around here just briefly. I haven't been here in a while in this particular spot. Always interesting to see bark hanging like that. I, I've seen that from time to time. A piece of bark like he's hanging to dry or something. I just find that curious is all. The reason for it is uh, there's no tree up there that would cause a piece of bark just to fall. Um, of course, who knows, right? I'm not insinuating anything, just that I've things that I've noticed in the past. But to get a look at this from the other side, let me get around to the front of that, what I am calling a blind, just to get a better look at it. So now it's got a different look from this side. Uh, of course, obviously I'm at a different angle, but that that animal run is like right there and this is not a trail uh, a person didn't you know didn't make this this is a i believe a deer run i'm not a hunter but i do know about about woodland animals and such like that how they make their their runs like this and this blind is set up perfectly for an ambush spot and my opinion Okay, so you can comment and stuff like that on the habits of deer and stuff like that. And if you're a hunter, I don't know, maybe you build your own blinds. I have seen that for sure. Hunters building a blind. Um, but that's just my observation. I mean, that is obviously not natural, guys. I, I really think I would challenge you to explain how that would happen naturally. Especially that, that like bundle there is really odd. But all of this here, um, I think that we all could agree that that was placed there um, by human or, or other. So in the summertime, um, as you can imagine, this is all filled in and grown in here. And you can't see that at all. And then you can make out, I can't see my screen at all because I'm facing the sun, but... It just really looks like a great spot to sit, not only to watch prey, but also to watch us walking up on this on on this um, on this ridge trail here, or, or, or whatever uh, you want to call this. It's a little more elevated, we'll call that, and it just seems like a really good spot down there. Okay. I'm going to uh, start to make my way out. I am cold, freezing cold. I might explore a little bit more. There is one more spot I want to check out today. We'll see. i got plenty of daylight left, but the hiking is very difficult. It's like walking on a, walking on a million gumballs, uh, especially when there's uh, tracks from other people. So that kind of tells me a lot, seeing that those structures were, all three have been destroyed. Uh, curious about the third one there, that some were left up, or, or it's in the process of being rebuilt, I don't know. But I, I just really have this sneaking suspicion that the Forest Service had something to do with it. And if I get a chance to speak to one of the park rangers here, I definitely would like to clear that up um, 
for myself and, and for you guys that I've put videos out of these structures, you know, with a huge question mark on it. And then the one that I found that was destroyed, the first one, um, I, you know, I don't know what the heck would have done that or why. And then why that quartz boulder went missing. And I've had my eye out for that quartz boulder since. And I have yet to find it. Uh, somebody commented once that I guess they're worth money. Maybe someone found it, you know, a boulder that big if it was pure quartz. I don't know. Is uh, on this trail down here further another sixteenth of a mile is a little bench in front of the water. I think I'm gonna take a little sit. I'm gonna get a little tiny fire going and warm up my digits. I mean, I have gloves, but uh, to work the camera, uh, uh, my phone, and and all that, I need. Uh, I can't have my gloves on for that. So I got one hand that's freezing cold, <laughs> and the other one is. Nice and toasty underneath my glove. So that was interesting. Um, oh, and with the audio, if you're hearing a babbling brook, it's because there's a babbling brook right behind the camera. So, uh, interesting, that told me some things. Seeing all three of those uh, structures destroyed and taken apart, uh, two of them were TP style structures. One of them, the last one that I showed you before the blind, was uh, looked to me like man-made, more man-made than the other two. And it... The lake is making the craziest sounds right now. Um, everything is cracking and creaking. But it tells me some things about, I do believe that the park rangers have taken these structures down uh, for safety reasons, perhaps. I'm surprised they found the third one. There's no trail really that leads to it, but maybe somebody told them about it, possibly. So, uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, Thank you so much for coming by. Uh, I'm going to start heading out. It's cold, cold, cold here. So I hope uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me some feedback. What do you think? Most likely park ranges is my opinion. Um, the, about that quartz boulder, all day out here, haven't seen it. Um, maybe it was taken away by somebody uh, to cash it in. I don't know. Boy, it's a great awesome the sounds of the lake are incredible freezing over and, 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 and adjusting and such anyways thank you so much guys for coming by and i'll definitely see you on the next one